Hello guys, today let's discuss how we can achieve business rules in MDG. So let's go to the point and I am going to show you first what are the fields in UI. So after that, how can we able to do it? So S4 MDG. So let's observe UI first. So in in many projects, we will get this type of requirement, like according to the change request type, or in every change request, we have to default one uh, field. So how can we achieve that? So I'm going to customer governance and going to change request, customer maintenance. So when if I am using some create scenario based on some CR type, so I am choosing my old CR type customer planet and clicking on create button. So if the requirement is like for a particular CR type, this particular uh, field has to become some value. So in this case. For example, if we want to derive such terms based on name one, which is given by us. So how can we do that? And let's also do name one. And this name one should be mandatory. As of now, if I am clicking on check button, it is only asking description as mandatory by standard. So I'm just maintaining test. And even after maintaining it on clicking check button, still no error sound it is showing. So let's give anything here, even grouping. Still it doesn't ask name one as mandatory as per standard. So what I will do is I want to make name one as mandatory for this CR type. So how can we do that? Let's go into that and check. So whenever if we, if we don't give a name one after clicking on check button or else um, CR should not allow to submit to next level. So that's what we want. So let's achieve that first and let's target to derive name um, search terms based on name one. So we are going to discuss both of them in this video. So first of all, we have to understand what is name one field. So name one in backend, let's go to MDG IMG and understand what is that field. As we all know from MDG point of view, name one, it will have one attribute inside data modeling. So in, in business partner name one will have MC name one name one something like that. So let's go to BP central because it is main data and then let's go to main MC name one. So this one we can do our other one is we are we have selected organization so we can do for this as well. So let's do for this one. This is different. This is for uh, person data. This is for group data and this is for organization data. So let's uh, make this one as mandatory for this CR type. Let's go. So go to MDG IMG or else we can directly go by usmd underscore rule t code i am going to show from this one only because it is easy to memorize so inside data quality and search let's go to validations and enrichments so here you will see different validation and derivation rules 
click on this and give data model as BP business partner and click on continue open trigger function and let's observe this catalog structure so inside this check entity is there so this is the one which we have target when we are doing validation so right click on this and then create object node and go to create function click on this and here we have to give so there will be one naming convention for this please this is very important one we should follow this naming convention or else it doesn't work so the naming convention which we have to follow to make this rule work is for validations for validations check underscore entity name this is the uh, this is the naming convention which we have to follow for sure and for derivation derive underscore entity underscore name Th like this we have to follow while doing naming convention if you don't give entity name here it doesn't get triggered and it doesn't work at all so let's follow that check underscore what is the entity name so entity name is name one comes under bp underscore c e n t r l name one uh, bp underscore central so we have to give same thing here bp central c c n t r l and then short text as anything we like mandatory checks for bp checks bp central data so this is the text i am giving it and i am clicking on create and navigate to object so after clicking this in check entity here another node will get created in that this function will be there so under check entity this function name will come here click and navigate to object and name is this one text is this one mandatory checks clicking on ok and this got created check underscore bp central this is now add existing data object click on this now this function got created let's click on save button for now it got saved successfully and go to add existing data object so they SAP will provide all data objects here so that we can reuse these now I am adding the existing data object so here we have to add central data business partner central data so let's do that object is structure so I am clicking on structure now name of the object I don't know so text central so we are we got central data structure here so let's select this structure and click on ok so this got added here now save it now important one is uh, again we have to add 
one more thing so here what are the data objects available let's see so at last uh, SAP has provided us change request index change request step change request process so this is business activity so the business activity means create change block unblock and delete scenario those comes under process so here our requirement is we have to do it only for our change request type so we have to use this one so let's choose this so if I click this I will get name of the element I am just copying it and clicking on back button and clicking on exist existing data object and adding same thing here and click on search so I got this ok so now I have added these two objects here so this comes under our context now so let's save this now main part is we have to assign rule set create rule set and rule set general we have to start this with rs underscore check underscore name one so we are making name one as mandatory now rule set for name one rule set for name one just we create a navigate to object now this rule set has been created now let's go uh, and save this for now it got saved successfully now we have to insert a rule here click on this and create a rule insert rule set so the rule is description make man uh, name of our organization mandatory so this is the description and then if sn condition go to this choose value range from and we are choosing context so let's choose context all values so here we have to choose first organization name this is one so I am choosing this and clicking on OK so if central underscore first organization name so if organization name is initial so if it is empty it, if it is not given by the user and let's include another condition insert include condition not r let's remove this remove include and change condition I am changing this to and and then here in object type of change request so if this is initial and type of change request is equal to z cost 1 p 2 the one which I selected is Z cost one P2. So I am selecting this one here. And then so if both are satisfied, what we have to do? We have to send an log message to the user. So in then condition we have to add action. 
so it comes under action and then i am creating new action here so la now action should be log item so go down so log action log message click on this and then let's name this as log underscore name one mandatory so short text name one is mandatory so on this one also name one is mandatory that's it so i'm just clicking on create and navigate to object and then it has been changed yes i want to save this now this has been created successfully it got saved also now we have to give a message here so whenever name one is mandatory it should not uh, um, it, uh, user should not be able to bypass that one so that means we have to send an error message not an information message which is provided by sap by default so i'm changing type to error and i am i am giving text as so which is the text which i have to show to the user so let's show name of organization organization should be filled so this is the message which i want to show to the user and then i am just clicking on save and activate so this is log message we have created now go back and in this rule set in this rule i am saving this and activating yes i want to activate go back save activate that's it so this part is done Sig context rule sets we have assigned and log message in that we have given so now this should work fine now this should be in green color now it is showing inactive let don't panic for this just refresh and then it should show green color now because it is activated yeah so let's check now from nwbc so this we have to close existing sessions and again restart this organization create customer planet and check this now description test now click on check button it will show name one a name of organization should be filled so i am filling this name of organization as sap inc include and if i click on check now this will not, this will not get showed to the user that means this is mandatory now for this cr type now let's do another check this will show to the user let's close this and try with another cr type and let's observe what is happening there so another cr type and here i am giving description and then now i am clicking on check button that no errors will be found because this cr type is not included in that condition so this is what we are making uh validation for this for only one cr type 
like that we can make for many types of uh, processes because it is provided in BRF plus by SAP we can reuse them now another one derivation let's go to this condition and we have to if we want to make derivation we have to go to this folder so in this folder let's keep this create object node and create function so again be careful while creating function so function name should be derive underscore entity name so BP central is in our entity name short text should be anything so BP central name one is name one is mandatory and text BP name one is mandatory create and navigate to object it's missing lock so this type of issues we may face this got created derive BP central and then click on add existing data object again here central search so click on this central data and then we should also mention change request type click on search yeah let's add both of them so only one it got added again let's add central So central data click on OK so both got added now save this for now and go to assign rule set create rule set rs underscore derive search term so let's name this search term derivation search term derivation and click on click on navigate to object save this and now add rule here so create rule assign condition add rule name is search term derived from name one so assign condition context let's add type of change request so type of change request if it is equal to z cus one p2 if it is equal to z cost one p2 now change condition now add new condition so change change condition add more conditions now here let's make it and and here from context then in context 
we have to check name one so if name one is given in the CR so if name one organization is given in the CR then it should get triggered so if this is equal to this one and if this is initial not initial this is not initial if anything is given here then what should happen in context let's give such term one as equal to such term should be equal to name one so here if you want to give this you have to give select change here to name one so organization name one and click on ok so from change set stem one from the value of this value that's it else is not required so click on ok save this activate so rule set is activating function is also activated just refresh this web page again all should be in green color the derivation should be so derivation I forgot to add it derive so this is already I have created so I have to assign that one here so if I want to do that I have to create node create object create folder node or object node and select existing object so I'm selecting the one which I created now derive and search so derive search term I am selecting this one currently locked by me so locking issue refresh this and I am deleting my locks again I will add select existing object derive underscore star I only created one derivation so I am just assigning now so this I have assigned before but I clicked on cancel here if initially if we click on cancel I made that mistake actually initially when we are assigning this for first time we will uh, when we are creating the node if we click on cancel only this node will not be created but that the object will get created here and that will cause issue so that's why I am assigning second time now so the if you sh if you should not face that issue that means first time only you should assign correctly so click on ok now that's it now it got assigned ok 
created a f function got assigned in right place and now I am refreshing it again so this should be there now inside derivation so let's check now click on organization so uh, initially now name one will be mandatory name of organization should be mandatory so let's check that first click on check name of organization should be filled so after filling that what happens still it will ask name of organization should be filled now I am giving this as reliance and click on enter so derivation will get called and that reliance it will get copied into search terms so this is search terms is getting from name one so from this created derivation so thank you guys this is the concept of derivations and validations from brf plus in mdg thank you